Okay. Mm -hmm. Our first new moon of 2024. And I love that today is the first month, the 11 day, that's three ones in Vedic astrology. That triple, triple one is connected to Jupiter, connected to good luck, to abundance, to prosperity. Uh, so this is a phenomenal way to enter the first new moon of this year together. So let us begin with a settling practice to let go of your day so far, to really hone in the energy so that this time is meaningful, is impactful, and is important, that this time can truly, truly be transformative. And that's going to be my intention for myself and for all of you. And I also invite you to set an intention of like, how do you want to feel at the end of this? By the time we're finished, what, whatever's going to happen here today, because I don't know exactly, this is part of the magic of it, but how do you want to feel? Maybe you're, you're coming with some heaviness or some fatigue or some feeling of disconnect. Maybe you're not. Maybe you just want to amplify the joy, the lightness, the, the, the ease in what you're feeling. That's okay too. I want you to know that however you are arriving today is welcome. You don't have to feel any way in particular to be part of this ceremony or part of this community. So as I mentioned, um, it's the first new moon of 2024, obviously. Five um, planets are in fire signs today. That's a lot of pitta, right? For all of you Ayurvedic uh, people that understand Ayurveda, and if you don't, it's just fire. There's a lot of heat. There's a lot of intensity today. This is also the first time uh, in the last six months of shenanigans that uh, all the planets are now direct, meaning things are going to flow a little bit, bit better, a little bit easier. So this is a, a really powerful time to take a deep exhalation to really clear what has come before and to set your mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic intentions moving forward. And I just looked up and I see the number of participants currently right now, 27, which is a derivative of 108. And for those of you who know my latest book, 108 Messages from Your Higher Self, uh, this is a very auspicious number, which is now it's changing because people are coming into the room, which, which is great too. More people are joining. Um, so please close your eyes. We will begin by going inwards we will begin by settling the nervous system, by focusing the energies into the heart space. So as you do this, just notice the transition that occurs for you when you go from the external to the internal. The external to the internal. Without any kind of judgment, simply notice where your attention goes. Maybe it goes to a particular part of, of your body. Maybe it stays up in the mental sphere. Just notice what is happening for you. Notice what you have brought to this moment, an accumulation of the minutes, the hours, the days, weeks, months, years, and decades leading up to this precise moment in time and space. This beautiful new moon, this beautiful wolf moon, allowing us to connect into the divine feminine, the energy of receiving. You know how to do, you know how to hustle, you know how to give. And for this short while, I invite you into the energy of receiving, of being supported, of knowing there's nothing that has to be right, nothing that you have to get done during this time, that this is time for you to simply receive, receive the transmissions, receive the new downloads, which we'll be bringing throughout the session, receive the energy of the divine feminine, where your presence is everything, that your presence is enough, that your very existence is the proof that you are so loved and supported here in this universe. And in fact, I would go on to say that you are an expression of the universe. You are not separate from it. You are an extension 
of the energy of creation here and now. And today we get to look more closely at what are you creating? What are you creating for this next moon cycle? Where is your attention in your life? Where is the vibration, the frequency that you're carrying and holding? When you're honest with yourself, what is that? Do you carry the frequency of overwhelm, of, of fatigue, of separation? Do you carry the frequency of possibility, of abundance, of unconditional loving? Does it fluctuate? Is your energy all over the place without a container? Just notice. And then place one hand on top of your heart and one hand on your belly. Connecting to the energy of creation, to the womb energy. And connecting to the power of the heart. The heart is where we heal from, not the head, not our intellect, not even through speaking but to drop down into that place of feeling, to drop into the stillness that is the very core of your essence, the part that is eternal and infinite, the part of you that knows that you are divine, that there is nothing you need to do to be loved and supported by the universe by the very energy that created you. So use the power of your breath to notice that there is an energy that is breathing you, that you don't have to consciously think every single moment that you need to take another breath in and then you need to exhale, that this loving force is breathing you. And that there's nothing you have to do to be deserving of the breath. It is here. It is inherent. It is intrinsic to your innate worth and lovability. So feel the breath around the heart. Feel the expansion and contraction with each breath that comes in and each breath that goes out. And let us begin with a collective energy of gratitude. Drawing into your consciousness something, someone, a moment, an experience, maybe this very moment, something that you feel genuine appreciation for. Genuine gratitude. And if it feels difficult to access something, just come to your breath. Just recognize the simplicity of this life force. And then amplify the sensation of gratitude. Maybe you bring a smile to your face. Maybe you generate the energy to be a little bit fuller, to feel the gratitude moving into all of your cells, to tingle, to move to your fingertips, out to your toes, perhaps this energy, this frequency of appreciation begins to fill the room you are in because of your attention and intention. Let it be real for you. You don't have to be any other way than you are right now, and you can't mess this up. But play, imagine, create, experiment. Experiment with filling the room with the energy of gratitude. Maybe you fill your neighborhood or your country or the whole planet. You surround this entire existence and sending that love and gratitude out as far as you can comprehend and beyond, further than you can comprehend, as far as you can imagine into the ethers. The actions, the thoughts, you have today will be amplified with this new moon energy, with this new beginning. So I invite you to set the tone for this next lunar cycle. I invite you to open up to listen to your vision from the divine. So it's nothing that you have to figure out from your logical brain. 
you may ask life, universe, spirit, source, God, nature, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say today? What is in my highest and best? How can I be more aligned with my higher self, with the me that is not conditioned by other people's limiting perceptions and beliefs, the me that is expansive, intelligent, wise, creative, beautiful, powerful, and loving, the me that is limitless, without the conditioning, without the fear-based programming. So keeping the focus at the heart, we'll begin with an invocation. I invite all energies, frequencies of the light, all ascended masters, all the aspects of the seen and the unseen realms to come and join us today, to be here to witness, to amplify only love and goodness, peace, brilliance, joy, and creativity. All of the workers of the light through all time and space, we call upon your presence with deep humility, with deep reference, and with deep celebration. Thank you for your presence, thank you for reminding us who we truly are. Thank you for waking us up to our own spirit and our own purpose here on this planet. Thank you for waking us up to this moment that we will never have again, this connection, this communion, this community in this specific way, in this specific moment. Thank you for the uniqueness of this moment. May we cherish it. May we be present here maybe really understand who we are so that we can live unguarded, unbridled, with open hearts, with high consciousness, to see, know, feel, experience the greatest reality beyond conditioning, beyond the past, beyond other people's limitations. So be it, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will begin by chanting the healing primordial sound of Om. You're welcome to chant along with me three times. Imagine the sound coming in through the crown chakra, down through the midbrain, down into your throat and into your heart, this vibration pooling into your heart space to wake up the sleepy parts, the parts of you who have gone asleep in fear, in overwhelm, in disconnection. So let this sound of Om be the reunion, the reuniting of your consciousness with the consciousness of Creator. Inhale to chant. Om. Ah. Keeping the eyes closed for a moment longer and notice the space inside your body. Notice how you're feeling. Sense, feel into the space around your physical body, the space above, the space deep into the earth, the space behind and all around your body. Expand your consciousness, expand your awareness. Feel the frequency of your being, that you are literally energy, energy frequency. Imagine yourself as a tone, a sound, a vibration. 
as an energy frequency. And imagine your frequency harmonized with your environment, harmonized with your inner being, harmonized with creator and creation, so that when you set your intention, it is so, it is done. And take a nice deep breath in, and a slow, steady breath out. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. I'm going to light a candle. So we bring in this fire energy, this potency of the fire. The fire is the energy of transformation. It is one of the elements that, well, the element that burns up, that transmutes things, that literally destroys things, frequencies, energies, so that they can be used as fertilizer. So if there is anything in your life right now that you would like to use as fertilizer, and please use all of your life as fertilizer to grow the new, to connect you to what is to come. There is nothing in your life that has happened or that will happen that is of waste, that was for nothing, unless you let that be so. But I believe, and in my experience, have found it to be true that Anything can be used to wake us up, to bring us home to the love that we are, no matter how challenging or horrendous the experience, that we can literally utilize, alchemize the past challenges, uh, discomforts, to plant seeds of new beginnings. So as I light this candle, and if you also have a candle that you would like to light, now would be a wonderful full time to join uh, me with that. And if not, that's okay. I'm gonna set this uh, candle ablaze, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully just the candle um, with this intention. Fire is the symbol of consciousness and the raising consciousness. So when we do our Surya Namaskar, our sun salutations in the morning, we're calling in the consciousness of the new day. We're saying, I am devoted to Surya. I am devoted to the consciousness that runs through all things. So with this intent, I light this candle for each and every one of us, for all who are suffering on this planet, for all being sentient, and otherwise who will benefit from more light. So be it and so it is. So just receive this light. You can bring that into your crown chakra, into your third eye center, into your throat into your heart, into Manipur, just welcome it into your sacral chakra, into the root, to ignite, to wake up anywhere that there is a lack of consciousness, anywhere that you are living separate from your truth, anywhere that you are being uh, disconnected from the source of all things. So that may be through fear, through scarcity, through lack, through forgetfulness of remembering your br brilliance, your magnificence, that you are literally an energy of frequency. You are a soul that came into this body, and that is no small thing. And you have walked all of these days on this planet. You have become who you are, and who you are is brilliant. Who you are is enough here and now. We are only concerned with being in the correct alignment. Our only concern is to shed, is to dissolve, is to release what may be a veil of maya, of illusion that keeps you feeling separate in any way, shape, or form. So sending you love through this light, sending greater consciousness to all beings on this planet so that we may live in a more, more harmonious way. And now I will take some beautiful Tulsi incense and light this and we'll call in the air element. We call in the air element and sending this air. The air is the element that cleanses, that purifies. The air is the element that moves things, that will move things out of their proper place, but also move things when they are stagnant, when they feel stuck, when they feel too heavy. So receive the element of the air into your heart, into your life, anything that is ready to move 
and setting the intention that what needs to come, allow it in, be ready to welcome in the new and what needs to go to make space can go with ease and grace and joy. So with this, we acknowledge the element of space, the most important perhaps of the elements. It is within space that creation occurs. It is the space between our breath, the space between our thoughts, the space between our words. That is the power. It is the stillness within you where your power lies. It is the stillness of your divine knowing that activates your remembrance. It is not through the doing. It is not through operating out of lack of feeling not enough that will activate your power. It is through your stillness and through your deep listening and mostly listening to your own knowing, listening to your own heart, listening to the guidance that is constantly around you. Okay, so I'm just hearing, I'm going to bring in some downloads. So with these downloads, if you would like them, just say yes in your heart. You have free will. If you do not want any of these downloads, you do not have to take them on. They are here for you to uh, reorient you and to clear out the subconscious limiting perceptions and beliefs that may be keeping you separate. I know how to trust myself. I know how to love and trust myself. It is easy for me to love and trust my own heart. I know how to let go what is ready to be released. It is easy for me to release what no longer serves me on my path and on my soul's journey. I know who I am at a soul level, and I am waking up to living from a soul place opposed to conditioning and programming. It is safe for me to live from my soul's essence and make decisions, take action, speak, hear, and listen from the deeper yearnings of my soul. It is safe for me to trust my inner knowing, to trust my sacred yes and to trust my sacred no. I am involved in this life. I am co-creating this life. It is fun to co-create. It is fun to know that my thoughts matter, that my feelings matter, that I matter, that my desires and yearnings are the whispers of the divine trying to live through me. I know how to honor the yearnings of the divine as me, through me. I know how to respect myself. I know how to take care of myself. I know how to take care of my body. I know how to tend to my mind and make my mind space, make my inner dialogue heaven on earth, make my inner dialogue a safe, loving and happy place to live. I know that I have the power to cultivate an inner dialogue that is loving, that feels uplifting, that is positive, and that extends out to the creation of my reality. It is safe for me to be liberated. It is safe for me to be free in this life here and now and through all time and space. I choose to be free. I choose to be free. I choose to be impervious to the negativity of others. I choose to be impervious to other people's limiting programming and perspectives. I stand in my sovereignty. I stand in my authority. I know how to be an agent of change, of positivity, of inspiration to myself, for myself, and for others on this planet. I know it is not my responsibility to fix or change anybody. My only responsibility is to be true to me, is to live from my essence, is to be who I came here to be. It is safe for me to shine. It is safe for me to speak. It is safe for me to be myself unapologetically. I know how to be me. I know what it feels like to be me. I know how to generate good feeling thoughts. I know how to cultivate appreciation and gratitude. I live from appreciation and gratitude. I live with the divine on my lips, in my heart, with every step I take. I am present to the very energy of creation. I no longer shame and blame myself for the past. I no longer project my power out onto others, onto money, onto situations or experiences. 
I know that the power is within me. I have the power to choose the meaning that I make of any life experience, of any situation. I have the power to be free here and now. My reality is really a choice. And I choose to see clearly. I choose to see without the divide, without the separation. I choose to see that I am one. I am part of the one consciousness of existence. I am part and expression and extension of the divine. And I get to choose the color, the flavor, the character that I express. The divine is using me to live life. Life is being lived through me. What life I choose depends on where I place my consciousness. I know how to expand my consciousness beyond the realms of my conditioning. I know how to live with peace in my heart. I know how to live from a place of joy. I know how to be free here and now. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful for this day. I am so grateful for this moment. I am so grateful for the energy in my cells. I am so grateful for my health that I'm getting healthier and stronger every single day. I am so grateful for this body that has carried me through every life. I am so grateful to be in this body. And I apologize to my body for any moment, for any energy of self-deprecation, of negativity, of criticism. I'm committed to sending love to my body because I know that this is how I heal. This is how I live in an environment of health is through appreciating this vessel, is through appreciating my organs, my bones, my tissues, my face, my hair, my toes, my ears, through appreciating every divine aspect of who I am. And I am impervious to the conditioning of the day, to the programming of the media, of how I am supposed to look or how I'm supposed to be. I love my body. I take care of my body. My body is an expression of the wisdom, of the power, of the strength that I am, of the love that I have for this life. I respect all parts of me. I know how to feel my feelings without shaming or blaming myself. I know that all of me is welcome inside of my own body-mind temple. I know how to speak kindly to myself. I know how to honor myself. I know how to love myself and be a great devoted friend to myself. I am loving. I know how to be present. And I know how to wake back up when I go unconscious, when I go back into fear and scarcity and lack, when I go back into separation, when I forget that the divine is living as me through me here and now, that there is nothing that I can do to make that untrue. I can forget, but there is nothing that will ultimately disconnect me from the divine. I know that my suffering is from my disconnect. I know that my suffering is from my forgetfulness. I know that my suffering is from a consciousness of lack, of fear, of scarcity, of division. I choose to see through the eyes of the greatest truth. I choose to see reality clearly. I no longer fear reality. I no longer fear my feelings. I no longer fear my greatness and brilliance. I no longer fear having a magnificent life. I no longer fear being joyful. I know that I get to choose, that I get to choose my perspective and the meaning that I make of all things. I get to choose my perspective of my life. I choose my perspective of myself and others and this world. And I choose to live from gratitude and appreciation. This is the frequency that feels good. This is the frequency that is connected to limitlessness and possibility and potentiality. This is the frequency of health and healing. This is the frequency of oneness. And I am so grateful and appreciative to the one consciousness. I am so grateful to the frequency of love. I am love. I am loving, I am lovable, I am love, I am loving, I am lovable.
I am love. You are love. You are loving. You are lovable. We are love. We are loving. We are lovable. They are love. They are loving. They are lovable. Take a deep breath in. And a slow, steady breath out. Just allowing yourself to receive these downloads deep into the subconscious, beyond the egoic mind, beyond the egoic programming. And just affirm to yourself, if you would like, I affirm that these downloads be received and integrated into my life in all planes, levels, dimensions, and times. Here and now, so be it and so it is. It is done, it is done, it is done. I'm open to receive. I'm open to transformation. I'm open to returning to my true essence. Take another breath in and another breath out. I'm going to connect with the energy, the frequency of Ganesh. Ganesh is, in the Vedic tradition, the elephant god, symbolic of the remover of obstacles and symbolic of, we always call upon Ganesh to begin fresh, to start something new. So I am going to chant the mantra, Om Gam. Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. You can chant silently to yourself. You can chant along with me, or you can simply listen to the vibration of this ancient mantra. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om gam ganapataye namaha 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 
Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Noticing the vibration from the mantra. This vibration clearing the pathway of obstacles, clearing stagnation, dissolving limiting perceptions and beliefs so that your pathway is open so that you may see with greater clarity that you may feel into your heart a place of truth and operate from that place. Operate from your deepest knowing. We'll sit in silence for two minutes and ask the question to the universe. Universe, what is your vision for me? What is your vision for me? Please show me. Please guide me. Please direct me. I welcome you into my heart. Take a slow, steady breath in and a deep, calm breath out, coming back into the day when you're ready. And so please just take a moment, type a word into the chat, how you're feeling after all of the new energetic downloads, all of the upgrades, the chanting, the ceremony, the silence.
And I would like to offer you a couple of moments to journal, to write down. I have two specific questions for you. So you can grab your pen and paper. Carmen, feeling relaxed and soft. Nice. Saraswati, beautiful. Good. Wanda, peaceful. Sylvie, grounded. D, open to receive. Lynn, open. Terry, I'm becoming closer to silence. Beautiful. Julie, much clearer, much lighter. Brenda, open. Nicole, trusting. Things are moving so fast. <laughs> They're going by really quickly. Uh, Nisha, open and calm. Robin, open. Simi, sparkly. Ooh, I like it. Jessica, solid, connected to the earth. Pascal, refreshed. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so my two questions for you to journal and reflect on are, number one, what am I ready to release? And I want you to be very specific, not fear overwhelm, anxiety. No, I want you to specifically say, what is the thing I'm releasing? I'm giving up micromanaging my son's college choices, or I'm giving up um, eating sugar for the next 24 hours. Whatever is, is genuine for you that you, that is ripe, literally ripe on the vine, ready to be released. That is the thing. It might be very subtle and that's okay. Listen to what is true for you and be specific about what are you releasing. Two things. Micro adjustments can be very powerful. What will be the most impactful is what is honest for you, what is correct for you. And often what is honest, there'll be a little bit of a charge around it. There'll be a little bit of energy around it, maybe a little bit of trepidation or a little bit of resistance or a little bit of excitement. But if there's no energy whatsoever there it's probably coming from up here like it's a should or it's like oh yeah this has been my thing for 12 moons that I've been trying to release it's like come into present current moment what is real for you now take one more minute And then the second question, the next question is, what are you creating for this next moon cycle? Just one thing, again, very specific, not love, peace, <laughs> like what is the thing? So that if someone on the outside were looking into your life, that they could see that too. It's not a concept. It's not an idea. It's something that will actually change. So if you're calling in greater abundance, like how much money do you want to create in the next moon cycle? Specifically, maybe it's an experience. Maybe it's a way of being, but be specific. And then feel in your body, like, what is the sensation around this? Does it feel exciting? Does it feel like, oof, my soul is being like woken up, is waking up, literally like dancing, literally saying, yes, yes, yes. And if not, and here I also want to say this, if you feel like it's very difficult to access answers to either of these questions in this moment, that is okay too. It's okay if you don't know, or if you feel like there's confusion, or if it feels just like blah, 
set the intention, plant the seed right now, that this is the, the practice that over the next three days, you will commune with nature, with the universe, that you will receive your vision. You will receive your next best steps of what to release and what to call in. And then you stay open. You, you notice your dreams. You notice conversations. You notice the stillness. There it will be something there for you. If you listen deeply enough or become still enough and come out of the monkey mind, right? It's very difficult to make decisions or even hear our inner guidance when we're so caught up in the monkey mind or in that dysregulated nervous system state, which has become kind of normal, right? We have so often come to experience that as, well, that's just who I am, or this is, this is my identity. And it's not, it's a programming, uh, which is very common because we're human <laughs> and we've been through a lot. We've been through some experiences that have been dysregulating. So if you find yourself in that moment of your life, it's okay. Don't need to force anything right now or right here. So I would like to, two things. So something that felt really fun to me when I was um, preparing for this was to offer a giveaway. I don't know if I've ever done this before in this way, but for those of you who have showed up, who would like to enter your name into the draw to receive a one-on-one -on -one laser coaching session with me, then just type into the chat um, your name and I will put your name into the draw. Here's the caveat. Um, you need to be, I need to have your email. If you're not on my email list, I won't know how to get in touch with you. So if you got this link to our ceremony today through a friend or, or through someone else, which is totally fine, but that means you need to send me an email and let me know your name and your email. So if you're the winner, then I can contact you. So the first prize is going to be a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. And the second prize is going to be for either my Theta Healing Audio Collection or my Chakra Healing program. Uh, those are both online programs. So uh, great. I see you putting your names in and what I'll do, I'll do that draw tonight and I will send out a newsletter with the replay from today and with the, the winners, with the two winners who will be the one-on-one -on -one session with me and who will get the um, online program prize as well. So we have a few minutes. I'm going to open up this space for two things. One will be for any questions or comments um, that you have. And the other will be, I wanted to mention two things that I have upcoming in case you're interested in deeper work together. So one is our last uh, Costa Rica retreat of this season. It's Ignite Your Light, and that's happening in Costa Rica. It's a healing and adventure retreat. February 29th to March 6th. So if that sparks something in your heart, then email me right away, m at madurimethod.com, m at madurimethod.com. And I can tell you more about that. We can see if that retreat is a good fit for you at this time. Uh, I know some of you in this group have been on that retreat. And um, all I can say is it's igniting. That's why I called it Ignite Your Light. It is really a place to, to come back to the light to remember who you are and to remember what's possible for you in this life, that really there are no limits other than the ones that we have established that have we have learned and been trained into. The other opportunity is probably one of the most powerful opportunities I can offer you uh, right now over a longer period of time. It's a four month, very intimate mentorship program. So if you're looking for greater support in reworking and reprogramming the subconscious in finding that deeper place inside of you that is your essence and living from that place and no longer suffering from an inner narrative that is keeping you in scarcity or lack or stagnation, then this program may be for you. Um, that requires a conversation with me to, to see if it genuinely is a good fit because I don't invite people into the program who aren't, aren't ready uh, for this kind of work or for who it's just not going to serve at this time. Um, so if that feels like something you're interested in to really move into a place of thriving in your life right now, again, send me an email right after we jump off the call. It's m at and, um, and then we can have a discussion around that. So I would love to 
answer any questions you have or if there's a deeper something that you're craving, I would love to hear that too, or even just the effects of the ceremony today. Uh, or if there's any intention you would like to share publicly, which I know can feel vulnerable sometimes, but when we declare, when we share an intention, uh, not just keep it to ourselves, but literally have it witnessed and have it seen, especially through other conscious loving beings, it gets amplified. So my invitation, you can share that in the chat and I will read it out. I won't read any names associated um, if you want to keep that anonymous, but, or you can unmute yourself. And if you would like to share a decla declaration of your intention for the next moon cycle, you can do that too. So I welcome you into all of those things. Sylvie says, I highly recommend the Costa Rica retreat. It was really transformative. Thank you, Sylvia. Yeah, it was really a fabulous week and so good to have you there. Um, yes, Carol, I am going to be sending out the replay so you'll get to receive the downloads and the meditation and healing at the beginning of our call today. Yes. You're welcome, Carmen. Uh, Carmen says, grateful for this offering that I created today. You're so welcome. I, I absolutely am honored to share and really thrilled that, that people want to do this kind of thing. <laughs> you know, that want to sit around on a, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Thursday afternoon and chant and uh, open to receive and set intentions. To me, it's really exciting, <laughs> really thrilling, but I'm a bit of a, a nerd like that. And I've, I've also devoted my life to this. This is what uh, is most true for me. Um, okay, here's some intentions coming through. I will state these out. I welcome in a pain-free year. Okay, beautiful intention, and I would give a little piece of homework for you on that one is to become more specific. So living, because you're still focusing on the pain. So if you have a year that is pain-free, how will you be feeling? So instead of like, I don't want to feel pain. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to, it's still the focus is in the lack. So the, the way to look at that is, yeah, if you have a pain-free year, how are you feeling? Are you feeling uh, freedom? Are you feeling joy? Are you feeling like, what is it that you're really wanting? Does that make sense to everybody? It's a, it's a real shift. Um, often when I do energy healings with people, I'll say, you know, what would you like to work on or look at? And it often comes from like, well, I don't want back pain or I don't want this or that. Like we, we have a very difficult time typically stating what we do want. It's easier to focus on what we don't want. So that's a, a, tool to transform your intention in a more powerful way so that you get out of because that's just the subconscious talking and I understand I and I support that of course you want a pain for a year but what are you really wanting and how will it feel when you're operating from that frequency okay the next one my intention for this year is to let go of everything that isn't serving me and holding me back so this was very helpful awesome so again my homework to you is get specific and maybe you are for yourself, but write out a list and do it today. Like do it on this new moon, this powerful, potent, you know, first lunar cycle of the year. Specific, what isn't working? What isn't serving you? If it's vague, it will not have the potency. Does that make sense? Awesome. Uh, okay. This moon cycle, I'm creating clarity and forward motion, stepping into the divine cosmic flow. There's more in the journal, not more on the journal. <laughs> I like that, the typo, I think more on. There's more in the journal. Grateful for today's ceremony. You're so welcome. And yes, specificity is going to be my um, offering to each and every one of you. And so you can take this beyond our conversation today, right? Like carve out 10 minutes now. What is it specific? It doesn't have to be lots. And sometimes working with just one or two things can be more powerful because if you have a whole litany grocery list of things, it's hard to track that. But when we have maybe one or two things that we're tracking and that we literally keep top of mind every day, not even just in the morning or in the evening, but like constantly, when that becomes the thing that we're devoted to, there's a lot more traction. There's a lot more energy. Does that make sense? Instead of just having like, oh, I want this and this and this and this, which is great. It's great to, to know that. But when we're talking specifically about the alchemization of energy and frequency, the more specific you are, 
and uh, the more focused you are, it's going to be powerful. Okay. I invite more prosperity into my life, receiving $2,000 plus per month. Great. See, that's the specificity. That's the specificity um, of that. That, it, that it's like I'm inviting this with ease and joy, and this is what I'm declaring. Because that declaration, it doesn't mean you have to cap it there, but that is sets a, a point, a focal point. And then, yeah, open this or something better, right? Like I always think that with the universe, like this or something better. There's a, a divine intelligence that goes beyond. And that's why in the beginning of the meditation, I invited you into letting the vision come to you so that you don't have to go out and figure it out. What do I have to do? What am I supposed to do? And this is the co-creative aspect is that we receive the divine in. Okay, uh, you are so welcome. You're so welcome. I committing to setting new routines with commitment. Okay, great. And then again, I would say, what are those new routines? What are they? When are you going to do them? Are they in the calendar? And that way you're going to be more likely to stay in that energy. Okay, D, I see your hand is up. Feel free to unmute yourself. We've got just a couple minutes left, but I'd love to Thank hear from you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this beautiful session. Um, I am declaring to be divinely guided for more expansion and creating and calling into my business another 10K month. Yes. Love it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for allowing us to witness your beautiful expression and expansion and commitment. It had everything to do with you and your guidance a year ago. So my thanks well, is to you. You are so welcome. So welcome. I love, love hearing the upward evolution. <laughs> and that's what we're here for, right? It's the constant upward spiral. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful work. Anyone else would like to to share your intention, your declaration, either vocally or in the chat. Now is the time. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you each and every one of you for your commitment to consciousness, to moving beyond, to moving beyond the past. We have all lived the past. You've done it. You've been that version of yourself. What feels more alive for you now? What would be exciting to live? What would feel like the truest, most wild, expansive version of yourself? It doesn't always mean it has to be big and flashy, right? It could be something so intimate, so subtle. But this is my invitation to you. And I would love for you to keep me posted. Like, send me an email. I want to hear how it's going for you over this next moon cycle so that this container becomes a portal and the portal is powerful depending how committed you are in your heart and I know if you're here and you're you're with me in this ceremony in this conversation that you are someone that is so devoted to having a beautiful life and a life um, not just for yourself, but where you uplift others as well. <sighs> You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you, Nancy. Mantra Jyoti, so good to have you here. You're welcome. Glad you have the homework. Glad you like the meditation. You're welcome, Simi. You're welcome, Mary Lee. Um, You're welcome, Robin. It is my deep honor to see you here today. Thank you for your presence. Please reach out if you would like to go deeper together. Um, my email is m at madurimethod.com. Let me type that in the chat in case you get the spelling. And um, that's a small m in the beginning. I don't think it matters. but uh, And I will see you there. And enjoy the rest of this new moon day. Enjoy your potent, powerful intentions. And I can't wait to hear how this goes for the next new moon cycle uh, until next month. So feel free, you can unmute yourself, we can say a collective goodbye. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Lots of love. Bye. Happy Namaste. New Moon. Happy Thanks. New Moon. Ciao.